One word, Weezer. I've been a fan since way back when, the Blue Album, from the Sweater Song to Buddy Holly to even when they covered Tony Braxton's Unbreak My Heart. They are absolute perfection, which is why I am psyched to tell you we've got a solid block of Weezer coming up next just for you right here on The Bite. So enjoy, and you're welcome. I'm Sean Amos, I'm here at the world famous Village Recorder and we're going to go inside and check out a Weezer secret show for a few lucky bite winners. I'm here with Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. Well, thank you for joining. Yeah, thanks for having me. What, what, how, what was the inspiration behind the Memories Tour? Well, we were putting out our, our um, reissue of the second record, Pinkerton, and deluxe reissue, and we just figured out we should, you know, do a, do some concerts for that to support that album. And as long as we're going to do that, why don't we do the first album too? Because so many of our core fans love those two albums so much. So let's give them what they want. So what's it like re revisiting this stuff after so many years? Well, today it's really fun. Uh, it just it sounded so good to me. It's very uh, chunky and grungy and musical and, and melodic and it's a real joy to hear it. So Death to Fall Smell is coming out. And it says compilation, but that's not how you view it, I think. I don't, I'm not sure how to view it. It's kind of in between uh, a rarities collection, a, a B-Sides album, and, and actually a new studio album of, of new Weezer songs. Because um, we, we did go into the studio and do a lot of additional work on these songs, even though some of them are as, as much as 12 years old. Um, and they're songs that w were actually never B-sides. They were never released anywhere. So it's to, to most people out there, these are brand new songs. We're not going to give it as much of a push as we would for um, you know, an, uh, one of our uh, other releases like Hurley or something. Um, but at the same time, I really love listening to it, and I think a lot of core fans are going to love it too. What's next after the Memories Tour? Um, well, there's actually no end to the Memories Tour in sight. We'll just we, we have like six markets lined up, and. Uh, Depending on how those go, we'll we'll just keep keep uh, doing that, or we'll revert to some other kind of show. Um, and of course, we're always writing and recording. Um, I got a book coming out called The Pinkerton Diaries. That should be, um, that'll be for sale at the at the shows. Cool. Uh, that's all my journals and letters and emails and stuff from from those mid '90s years when we were working on that album. That's about it. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Then we die, and it's all over. <laughs> so one last question for you. Uh, what, in, in all your years, playing music, making music, being in this business, what's the best mistake you ever made? I don't know. I, I, I revise history so quickly and, and uh, think of my mistakes as brilliant moves. So, like, I don't remember ever making any mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> right on. Well, thanks a lot, man. Thank, Thank you. you. That was awesome, right? But still not enough Weezer for me. Is there enough Weezer for you? That's what I thought. So how about this? Two tickets plus VIP access to their upcoming concert at Gibson Amphitheater at Universal City Walk in November. Got your attention, didn't I? All you gotta do is text UNSPOKEN to 28662 to win. It's that simple. 
So what are you waiting for? Do it now.